us. Yes. Now, before we get into the meat of the word, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And as I told you, there's a prophetic anointing in the room. And I don't plan to be before you long at all. I just need you to stay in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I'm trying to get out of your way. Amen. But I, I keep hearing so many things in the Holy Ghost. Jesus. And, um, and I'm going to get to the text, but Sister Ellison, oftentimes the Lord does this to me. He, he keeps me up multiple days or nights. You see this though I'm wrestling with something. And so the Lord has done that to me for the past two nights, and my wife can attest to it that I've been unable to sleep. So I'm literally since Friday I'm operating and running off of fumes. My Lord. Nothing but the energy of the Holy Ghost. Because something was troubling my spirit and something was perplexing me and different things were going on. And sometimes you don't know why you're feeling what you're feeling. Amen. Amen. And, and, Jesus. And this is only going to apply to prophetic people. Jesus. Other people will never understand prophetic people. Jesus. Because sometimes we feel the weight of the burdens of other people. Jesus. We don't even know why we're feeling what we're feeling. Jesus. But the Holy Ghost makes it ever so clear to us why we're feeling what we're feeling. And I hear the Holy Ghost say to Pastor Ellison, to Lady Ellison, to Bull Zion Church, let the gallows go up. Mm. Jesus. If anybody knows anything about the Jews, Jews My Lord. were in a place where the enemy sought to destroy them. And the enemy had conjured up a plan to have all of the Jews and the individual that had devised the plan had gallows. Mm. That's right. That's right. That's right. My God. And the purpose of the gallows were to hang every Jew upon. Yes. Yes. But God in his infinite wisdom knows how to turn the table. Yes. Amen, amen, yeah. amen. And the gallows that were meant to you. Yes, yes. To hang you. Uh-huh. God said, I'm going to use it to hang them. Damn, that's right. Now, I don't know what's going on or if anything is going on, but all I know is you don't have to fight in this battle. Jesus. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. For the battle is not yours. Right, right. It's the Lord's. My the battle God. is the Lord. Jesus. Now, we just came out of pastoral appreciation uh, month because we're at the end of this uh, month now that we're closing out. And so this isn't the message, but I, I gotta obey what I hear the Holy Ghost say. Yes. And the Lord is saying we must be ever so careful how we handle those that the Lord has entrusted unto us. Amen. To care for our soul. Amen, amen. I'm not saying this because I'm a leader or because I'm a pastor. It is something that I believe before I took on this position, which is why I was always honorable as a son. Mm -hmm. Let me put a footnote here. Because so many people want, so many people want to lead, but they don't know how to adequately follow. Amen, amen. Excellent point. You. Amen. Excellent. You, you, you get in the buffet today. I know you wanted to sit down and order one thing off the menu. 
But the Holy Ghost said, it's buffet style. That's right. Come on, Jesus. Come on you must be ever so careful how you handle those who lead you. Amen. The only reason why I can lead the way that I lead is because of the way I follow. follow. That's right. Amen. And I never required anything in my leadership that I did not do yourself when I was a follower. That's right. That's right. One thing that you could never do, you could never talk to me about my leader. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost wants to talk yes. to some of you about your prophet conversation. My God, my God. Jesus. My Lord. Now, now we ain't been here that often. Pastor Ellison and Lady Ellison haven't talked to me about anything. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I sent them hey. that there's some private conversation. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. My Lord. And we must be careful of the conversations that we're entertaining. That's right. Talking right. Yeah. Talking right. And oftentimes it happens after somebody leaves the church. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Jesus. That's right. And all of a sudden there are seeds that are trying to be planted in the hearts of other people so that you can be mad about what they're mad about. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. You ain't got to say nothing. I don't know who is. That's right. Amen. Amen. Just how the enemy works. And I know you're trying to be cordial, but I heard the Holy Ghost say the minute they talk sideways, block them. Uh huh. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
It's respect. It's respect. 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 It's, it's not a control. Ain't nobody gonna control me. That's it ain't right. a control. That's right. Amen. Amen. Amen to God. It ain't control. Because you've been telling people they just trying to control my life. Uh huh. That's what they say. Lie. It's not a control thing. It's a protection. Amen, amen. Because you might fall into a trap that the enemy has set. That's right. And if you did not run it by the one that cares and watches for your soul, yes. he can never navigate you and direct you in the right way. Amen. It's not control. Sometimes it's protection. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Holy Ghost will tell him the thing that you can't hear. Right. Amen. Or the thing that you heard but you ignore. That's right, that's right. True, true. Amen. Because the truth be told, Lady Ellison, the reason why they be getting mad when you say it is because God already told them. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it was the thing they didn't want to hear. Right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Why so get mad when you instruct them and they get real angry? It's the truth. Get real angry because it's the thing the Holy Ghost has already right. been nudging them to do, uh -huh. but they're too prideful to do it. Yeah. Yes. Like repent. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Amen. Jesus. Done somebody wrong, done something wrong. Uh -huh. No, they should repent. Holy Ghost been telling them to repent. Sure. Then you get up and you tell them to repent, then they get mad. Uh -huh. And they get angry because they know it's the very thing that God told them to do. Lord. Leave her alone. Leave him alone. Don't do that. And they know in their spirit that they shouldn't do it. But they want to do it. And then when you say it, they get mad. Let me tell you this. Leadership and then carriage. Pastor Ellison, Lady Ellison, and character. Leadership and pastors tend to be the punching bag. Sometimes it's not about you. Sometimes they're only using you to release their frustration. Wow. Because they mad at themselves. That's right. So they'll use you as, as the reason. Yeah. Blame you. Versus taking accountability for the things that they jacked up in their own lives. Jesus. Protocol is set in place. I'm going to be trying to the shop part soon. Got to hold me. Got to, got to. Jesus. Protocol is set in place for us so that we can offset the trouble that is coming. I, I remember I made a statement at home, and, and what I said at home, I can say here. Mm -hmm. I made a statement back at home, and I made this statement because. It's reality. I told the saints, I said, I pastor more people outside of this building mm -hmm. than that I pastor inside of this building. Mm -hmm. Everybody that sits in the building isn't being pastored. Amen. What happened? When you tell them, you told them, everybody in the building isn't being pastored. More people outside of the assembly than I pass inside the assembly. There are people that will come to me outside the assembly to ask, what should I do? Right, right. In this situation, what should I do? That situation. And then everything that I tell them to do or instruct them to do, mm -hmm. they follow it, obey it, and see the result of it. Right. What God is saying. Amen. But then you have some that will sit right in your building. 
right yeah. with you and will never inquire of the Lord at your lips. That's right. Now, so, I'm, I'm going to just tell you what the Bible says yeah. because we're living in a generation now where Uh-huh. That's what they yeah. say. I, told you it's a yeah. I gotta check with God. Yes. I hear from God too. My Lord. Now I got to share with you that there were two people in the Bible that felt that same kind of uh -huh. way. Come on now. That's right. Two people. Right. A male and a female. Yes. Brother and sister. Brother. Felt that kind of way. That's right. Mary That's right. and Mary. That's right. And, and so one day, uh -huh. they got disgruntled with Moses, yes. and they had the audacity yes, right. to part their lips and say, God, speak to me too. That's right. I don't think they were doing so. Right. Same spirit. But they say, God, speak uh -huh. to me too. I, I hear from God just like you hear from God. And if God told you that, and he would have told me. Uh-huh, please. Watch it. Yeah. Some of you done said it. Come on, yes, sir. Yeah. I've heard it. Oh, you heard that from the Lord? Well, I hear from God, too. So he would have showed me. I've heard it. He would have told me. Here's the difference. God had to come up and speak on the behalf of Moses. That's right. And stood up on the behalf of Moses. And he said, Right. I talk to you, but I don't talk to you like I talk to Moses. That's right. Because I just visited you in a dream, but Moses came and I and we speak face. Yeah. To face that there's a different level of communion. There you go. There you go. So before you never get arrogant and think your level of communication is on the same. Break it down. Perfect. Because while you're out to dinner and while you're on vacation and while you're only gagging and being entertained, there's a leader that's over you that has a face to the wall and their ear toward heaven and they don't get the luxury. That's right. The level of communication is different, and here's the revelation of why. Because the level of sacrifice yeah. is different. Yeah. I ain't got no hope yeah. in right. The level of sacrifice is different. So don't you ever get so arrogant to talk about, well, why can't I do that? You can't do it because you ain't paid the price that I paid for this anointing.
Because Moses was in the mountain while they were still down. That's right. And so that means you can expect to experience something if you're not willing to move from where you are and go up. Go up high. You ever notice that when the Lord ever started dealing with people in the spirit, he always tells them, come up here. Yeah. So many of us want to prophesy and have revelation and want great anointing, but we want to stay in the same place that we're in. Jesus. You ain't prayed no more than you prayed when you first got saved. Jesus, Jesus. And even that level of prayer has put through that. Right, right, right. But yet you want an anointing that when you lay hands on the sick, sickness flips. Then they get disgruntled and say, well, God, God ain't only using him. God ain't only speaking to him. God using me. God used me too. And, and, and you, you preachers wise. Come on now. You preachers wise. Please be ever so careful. Uh-huh. Come on. Because I just heard the Holy Ghost say yeah. some of you whispering in your husband's ears. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Teach it. Yes. Tell me. Uh -huh. you, you, you know how to pray. Uh -huh. Go to God for yourself. You ain't got to go to your leader. The devil is alive. Yes, he is. Yes, he That's is. Right. Amen. Speak, Lord. That's right. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Amen. Whisper. Uh huh. Spiritual delight. Yes. My Lord. Uh -huh. Jesus. Oh, come on now. Smorgage board. Come on. Whisper. Yes. Be careful of that pillow talk. Yes. Come on now. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Be careful of the spirit of seduction. Yes, oh, yes. That tries to entice you yes. to get out of order. Uh -huh. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. You better go. They got wives like that. You better put them in check quickly. Yeah. Quickly. Amen. Amen. That's right. If you don't put them in check quickly, you'll find yourself being like Adam. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. God gave you the command on what to do. You let her come and tell you what. Right. Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Speak, Lord. Yes, Lord. Speak, Lord. Yes, Lord. Speak, Lord. Careful. Yes. Be careful. Never fail. Be careful. Never fail. Because Adam was given the command when Eve was nowhere. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, Reverend, come on. Woo yes. It's hot up here. Yes. Come on. Yes. Jesus. So who told me what God said? Right. Adam. Adam had to tell me what God said. Had right. to. Which means that before she had ever disobeyed God directly, she disobeyed her husband. Come on now. Amen. Come on, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Wives, yes. obey your husbands in all things. In all things. Talking right. Oh. Jesus. Before Eve could ever disobey God, the first voice that she had to disobey yes. was the voice of her husband. Amen. Amen. That's right. And when she disobeyed the voice of her husband, she did My Lord. Some of y'all thinking you obey and pleasing God, but yet still disobey. That's uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. Then you come whispering. Mm -hmm. 
Never fails. Yeah. Common question. You sure? <laughs> yes, Lord. Watch this. Man of God. Yes. Man of God. And if he and if he is strong enough to obey God, then he'll do what Adam did and, and he'll do it. Right. He didn't eat also. What did he eat on? He ate of the deception. That's right. Then he followed along in the rebellion. That's right. Yes. He caused a curse to come upon humanity. Yeah. That's right. Whole earth. Because he was listening to another voice. Yes. That's right. Another sin. Got to be careful. Lord Jesus. Got to be. I don't know if this is old country buffet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, Come Jesus. On. Let me eat. Let me eat. Yes. Oh. Hallelujah. I just, I like yes. Feed me. Yes. Feed me, Lord. Yes. Two days. I've been out in about two days for this. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. And there's no comes after such a time like that. Yes, thank you, Lord. It'd be the hard words of uh, keeping me up for it. I guess I'll be getting out of me what y'all are going to do to me. Because <laughs> some of y'all mad right now. Oh, Come on, that. now. It's all right. Come on, Lord, Minister Blair. That's all right. Come on. Get over it. So he keep me up two days to get all that out of my yeah. system. So I don't care. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Romans the fifth chapter. Oh, yes. That's right. Mighty quiet. Hallelujah. It's real quiet. Mighty quiet. That's good. God can talk Mighty about it. Mighty quiet. Quiet. Hallelujah. <laughs> and we got to be careful. Got to be. Be real careful. That is there such a lack of respect for leadership? Now? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that is why the saints of today, or the so-called sense of the day, do not have the longevity uh -huh. that's right. that the saints of old had. That's, that's right. Because they had they had such a, 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 a reverence. Right. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. They was able that's to right. take it, mother. That's right. These folks can't take nothing. No. No. You breathe too hard in that direction and leaving the church. No. So true. The truth. Gone. Breathe too long. Turn in the keys. You're leaving the church. Mm -hmm. Raise your voice too loud. That's right. You know but I know the reason. We got too many grown folk in the church. Yes. That's right. That's right. Coming like a child. Everybody grown in the church. Yeah. But I heard Jesus is. Jesus said, unless you become like one of these little children. That's yeah. right, that's right. You can no wise enter into the no kingdom. No wise. Amen. Where all the parents at? Where all the parents at? Have you ever had a disobedient child that didn't listen to you and you raised your voice? Uh-huh. Then why can't he? Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Is that a month Yes, it is. You'll discipline your children right. and when they're disobedient, Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> they don't know how to talk to nobody. No, you don't know how to talk to nobody. There you go. There it is. Can't see one Yep. No love. Don't have a higher expectation for your leader than you have for your own self. Right. Because that mouth that got you in plenty of trouble. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Be honest. Amen. And Lord help me. I tell the saints at home, that's why they can handle it. I tell the saints at home. I said, if you can't take me, uh, that's right. You couldn't take Jesus. Amen. No, no way. No way. Ain't no way. The Bible I read, they couldn't take Jesus. Right. Jesus, I mean, he was he was very sarcastic. 
Right. <laughs> yes, he was. And very strict at the mouth. Right. I remember one time he said something about the Pharisees and them folk. Uh, and the folk got mad. And Simon came and said, Do you not know they were offended? Jesus said, So what, man? Yeah, yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. Yes, he did. I don't care. Right. They didn't take it. So, mm -hmm. so you can't hear the man. I ain't turned the table over yet. Right, right, right. I'm still having peace. I'm just talking. Right. <laughs> he just got so mad he flipped the table over, grabbed the whip, and whipped it out. Yeah. Sure I did. Amen. I ain't got, this, I ain't got to that point yet. <laughs> Help us, Lord. But one thing he's going to do is he's going to give you a last hit of the spirit. Oh, yes. Yes, oh, he yeah. will. He's going to let that word come along. Oh, that's right. He's going to let that word tear that behind. Oh. Amen, amen. That's what you got to do. You got to take it. That's right. If you love him, uh -huh. if you belong to him, yeah. you have to take it. Yes. Because whom the Lord loveth, Chase. We get mad at the chastisement. Uh -huh. Amen. He chastened us as sons. Yeah. And if we endure the correction of the Lord, yeah. it yeah. actually lets everybody know where our sonship stands. Yeah. But if we don't take the direction of the Lord, then the Bible says we are bastards and not sons. Oh, not That's what it said. That's what it said. You know what I told the church to do? I said when the Lord come through and start rebuking us come on. and start shouting. Yeah. Big trouble. Big trouble. Yes. I thank God for the correction of the Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. So we got to be able to embrace it, and we got to be able to love his reproof. Love his reproof. That's right. Because he's trying to get us together so that when he comes, he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. But he got to get the blemishes out. Amen. Yes, Lord. So work on me, Lord. Get that stuff out of me. Yes. I know how I can be it. I need for you to work on me. Yes, Not nobody else. Yes. Not nobody else. When this word stop coming, stop looking at everybody that's else. Right. Yeah. Well, some of y'all like, y'all. Uh-huh, that's right. <laughs> uh-huh. Because yeah, you know something about it. Yes. Talking right. Right. Everybody else. Focus on self. Well, you around the room trying to figure out. Yeah. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> Who did it? What did it happen? Uh-huh. Right? Uh-uh. But when Jesus said, one of you that set the table oh, is going to betray me, they didn't start looking around the room. They said, Lord, is it I? Is it I? That's right. Right. Oh, Lord, is it me? Oh, Lord, is it I? When the word comes, you got to say, Lord, is that me? That's right. That's right. Right. And what about my brother and sister? Is that me? Yeah. Oh, what is that? I'm the one with the nasty. All right, watch right yourself. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of doing that sometimes. Right yeah. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Lord, is it I? You know, yeah. you know, you know, you're looking around the room. Because while you're looking around the room, trying to figure out if it's somebody else, Lord, somebody right looking at you. Said, it's you. Yeah. yeah. Right. And the Lord got to send Nathan to come and ah. tell David, Pay it, thou art the man. Are you are the man. Thou art the man.
no constitution. And they had to look at him and say, David, that one. Think somebody got to bring it to your attention. That's right. Sometimes you don't know how bad off you are. Amen. 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 Because every man is right in his own life. That's right. Every man. When you're actually doing it, until somebody brings it to your attention to let you know how bad it really is. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And then when they let you know how bad it really is, then they give you the opportunity to repent. Repent, yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. And you repent, and you say, man, I'm not going to do this right. no more. Yes. That's what David did. David didn't have the, the heart of God because he didn't sin. It, it's what he did after he got rebuked. Right. I don't know if David a man after God's own heart, but how is he a man after God's own heart? Right. He's a man after God's own heart because of his willingness to repent when he was shown himself. Amen. 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 David repented. God said, man, I like this man because he can acknowledge his faults, change it, and keep on. Keep on. Now he brings a testimony. He's a man after God's own heart. Romans the fifth chapter. Verse number one. Second Corinthians the twelfth chapter. One through ten. We're going home to Jesus. Y'all all right? All yes, right. sir. Yes, Hallelujah. sir. Romans the fifth chapter. Let me give you this encouraging word. We're going home in Jesus' name. And this word is for somebody. Because somebody's going through something right now. And the Lord has come to speak to you. Romans 5th chapter, start at verse number 1. I'm going to read it. Verse number, read down to verse number 3. There's something that I'm going to pull out of here. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in the Hope of the glory of God. Glory of God. We rejoice in hope. Glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Yes. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Yes, Lord. 2 Corinthians 12th chapter. Praise the Lord. Verse 1 through 10. The word of the Lord says this. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Mm. But the in the body cannot tell. Yeah. But the out of the body cannot tell. Yeah. God know it. Yes, sir. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, but the in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knew it. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words. Which is not lawful for a man to utter. Yes, of such a one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in my infirmity. Yes, but though I will desire the glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth, but now I forbid. Lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me. Lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I was sought of the Lord three times. Then it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yeah. And this is the part that I want to focus on. 
focus on the part that I love the most, most gladly. Therefore will I rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ might rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure Jesus. in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, Jesus. Jesus, my Lord. Then am I strong. I know you're going through right now. Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, I have something. I have something to rejoice about. Amen. To rejoice about. Amen. I have something to rejoice about. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Who told you? Uh -huh. Jesus. That you only could rejoice. Uh, everything was going okay. to yep. right. okay. Thank you, Lord. Who switched the narrative and told us that you should only be happy? When everything is on the up and up. Who told us that you can have a song of praise only when there was something praise worthy? My Lord. Yes, sir. This book has just simply flipped the script. Amen. Paul said, I know the revelations and the being caught up in but I would rather, much rather, talk about what I'm going through and glory in my infirmity yes. than to glory and boast in the revelation. Right. I know that our human mindset, we would say that makes absolutely no sense. Kept them humble. Why would I be happy while I'm sick? Why would I be happy when the bills are bad? Jesus, Jesus. Why in the world would I be happy yes. in knowing that my marriage, my family, my finances is in turmoil? My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't make sense. Well, it doesn't make sense to the natural mind. Amen. Because the natural mind can only see the problem. That's right. That's right. But the spiritual mind. Thank you, Jesus. Looks past the problem. Thank you, Jesus. And see the one that is able to break us out Amen. of the problem. Yes, Lord. So what ends up happening is, Brother Jeffrey, yes. I can rejoice yes. in my infirmity. Thank you, Jesus. I know that yes. God's going to bring me out. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I start looking at his ability. Hallelujah. And what he's able to do, even in the face of opposition and persecution and distress, yes. I can lift up my hand and say, Thank you. Hallelujah. You can look at the eviction notice. 
Thank you, Jesus. This is the mother right here. Amen. 
wants to come on the watch there. Amen. 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 Amen.